Bienvenidos a Stupidass Podcast El nombre es Episode 34 Yo pienso Esta semana Andamos bebiendo Bebiendo Bebe We're drinking Bebiendo 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 Corona extra Here, let's switch it Fucking open No, I wanted to open mine Oh, okay, here Okay, cool You have the phone here In español Christmas time Sin drink Christmas Welcome to Superdash Sports episode 34 I think it was uh, <laughs> Oh, you did it all over again yeah. Okay No, I'm still fine with the Spanish Keep it uh, uh, The you Portes este fin de semana ¿Cómo te fue? You gotta work on your Spanish ¿Qué estabas mirando este fin de semana? Uh, Fútbol americano <laughs> Basketball El baloncesto <laughs> Football! Football! <laughs> Se acabó. Se acabó. Menos las ligas, a las ligas a Europas oh. de Europa, Europa, perdón, de Europa. Um, it was been a shitty week in the Premier League. We're not gonna start off with football. We're gonna start off with fucking football. Um, it was it bad. Is, uh, no, 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 no. It's just it's not too exciting to talk about European soccer. Oh, okay. um, it was actually great. Kind no. of. Manchester United lost like the last game, but they won today again against Aston Villa. Did they have a lot of soccer for this for the Christmas time or no? Not so much. Not no? so much. A couple games. Uh, they're continuing because of the uh, tournaments going on. So there was a couple in in uh, in week games this weekend or yeah. week, week games. Like I said, today is uh, Tuesday, so they uh, there was a couple games today. Ah. Um, so the European league. They're doing are, league play. Yeah. Oh. So they're catching up. So what happens is uh, kind of like the NBA thing, like. You're playing uh, these tournaments, and then you got to also catch up on the regular league games. So this tournament's completely different, just yeah. like the basketball thing. So, but you also have to, like, you know, keep the turn the regular league. Does that play. make it harder? No, it makes it more fun. <laughs> I honestly, I think for soccer, it makes it more fun. For basketball, it's more confusing. Um, I get why they wanted to do it in the NBA, uh-huh. um, but there's a reason I think why it works in soccer and not so much in the NBA. But if yeah. they can, if they can tweak it, they can make it work. But I don't think they can. Uh-huh. The reason is like soccer. There's typically one game a week. Yeah, and there's a bunch NBA, of games. Yeah. So it's it's tough to juggle that, and it's almost like it's almost very physically demanding. In a, yeah. And honestly, basketball is a, a sport. But it's that way too. It's like yeah, yeah. It's that's, like that's, that's a weird thing. Is like in soccer, like it's it's they put so much emphasis on like. All right, 90 minutes on average yeah, if yeah, you yeah. play the whole game. Like, uh, for a player to do that twice a week, yeah, um, every week for, uh, you know, how long the season takes, it seems grueling. Well, dude, basketball is an intense fucking sport. Like, I played basketball just a pickup game. When I'm done, my joints are hurting. My oh, yeah, dude. Fucking rip. I, <laughs> dude, it's... Man, you sweat like crazy. Yeah, it, and you pivot a lot. Yeah. Um, yep. So, like, it's very physically demanding in yeah, basketball, yeah, yeah. too. So, like... It's one of those things where, like, yeah, you can complain saying, you know, this is, it's like this, not it, fucking football, yeah. but I mean, it's, but it's still, still physical. Yeah, yeah uh, football's a different kind of. Business. And if you're trying to move people around, mm-hmm. that gets physical. Yeah, football's like moving fucking that pool table around every, <laughs> every fucking week. <laughs> that shit would suck. I'd retire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like I'm working out all week just to fucking move that fucking. No person. shit. <laughs> That's the line. Yeah. That's all they do every week. Line yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, but European soccer has been going on. It's been fun. Uh, nothing too noteworthy. No, no, no big notes. Huh? I see. Um, Miami got. Uh, what's his Luis name? Suarez. Luis Suarez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A huge get from. I think this get is finally going to start bugging fans a little bit. <laughs> I think finally, like the, the the financial fair play has to come in, and yeah. I think some people are going to finally going to be like, "Yeah, get a bitch about it." I think it's not what broke the camel's back, but it's it's starting. To, like now, it's kind of like, all right, they cannot get one more fucking powerhouse. We <laughs> get it. We get it. Because guess good. what? If I hear Miami's going to play against Seattle, I want to see Luis Suarez and I want to see Leo Messi. Uh, but what yep. pisses me off as far as was kind of linked to Seattle. Yeah, yeah. Um, years ago, that's loosely linked, but close enough oh. to where I wanted. He was. Like I said, oh, I you almost went to go see him. What? No, no, no. Nico Lodero and Luis Suarez are both uh, from uh, the same nation. Uh, oh. And when Nico Lodero was signed to Seattle, Luis Suarez was the translator for Nico to come to Seattle. Oh. Nico signed with Seattle for uh, dude, just uh, like seven, eight years. Uh-huh. He was the reason why we have all the trophies. We have. Really? Nico's contract was not extended this year. He's leaving Seattle this year. It fucking sucks. It oh. hurts the fans. 
and he goes like devastated because his family was born here like his sons were born here oh okay and uh he wanted to stay in seattle but the front office the front office kind of did him a little dirty uh so I, I, they I, one thing i get it like because he started coming off the bench so i get it, he's a bench player maybe we're paying to paying him too much yeah but the other thing was like uh when when he reached out to the front office and said, hey, I want to stay here. What can we do? And the front office shuts down and yeah. doesn't even send him anything or message. Nothing. Then he kind of knew the writing was on the wall. So it was one of those things. It was it was heartbreaking to hear that they couldn't even meet with him saying, hey, uh, we, don't, we don't think we're going to re-sign you. Yeah. Like when the front office just, boom, ghosts you. Uh, that was heartbreaking for me as a Sounders fan. Hearing Nico's side saying, hey, I told the front office I'm willing to take a pay cut. I want to stay here. Yeah, yeah. But the front office just... Oh, well, well, okay, we'll, we'll address it. And then, no. no shit? No. Uh, Heartbreaking as a sports fan. Son of a bitch. Um, so, yeah, that's why Suarez was linked to Seattle because of that. Um, then he went to go play in South America. And then Suarez was quoting and saying he wanted to do one more season with Messi. So it was very obvious that, that was, was going to happen. happen in Miami. <laughs> um, so Suarez is probably Dang. not going to get paid too much. But I guarantee you sponsorship money, ticket sales money, assists, gold. Well, I mean, if he's not going to get paid too much, then what's the big deal? Suarez wants to have one last season with Messi, and that's a pretty big fucking deal. And guess what? Those two guys together are magical. Oh, yeah? Are they? Dude, dude I hate to say it. I'm going to watch Miami games this week because those <laughs> two players together, whether you're a Barca fan or not, they were creating magic. So the since they signed him, when does he start? Probably, I can see him coming on board spring. Well, because the, link, the league's up. The MLS is M- done. M- no, see, that's the thing. MLS uh, uh, works in a different cycle. MLS has been done. Yeah, yeah. Premier yeah. League is at like the half over the halfway point. And they still take Miami. Oh, man, can, can Miami go play over there? Or are you talking about this is all different? Things? No, this is different. Those in South America, MLS, but believe right? it or not, South, South, in the South American Hemisphere, I believe their leagues are still going on too. Uh-huh. They kind of play along a little bit more with the European uh, calendar. Miami. So, the the big thing, no, not Miami, just uh, like Luis Suarez. So oh, where okay. he's at right now. Oh, okay. So. There's a whole weird thing where MLS kind of tends to play by their own rules as far as the calendar because they have to compete with the NFL. The NFL schedule yeah. com- is more competitive with the European Soccer League. Yeah, yeah. American soccer can't compete with them. No shit. No. So MLS does almost a baseball st- Actually, absolutely baseball stuff. Change. Spring, when football's summer, not on. Yeah, fall. yeah, yeah. Um, they capitalize on that. Yeah. Because as soon as football yeah. starts, listen. Because basketball is competing with football. For a little, for the, for a, there's yeah. a little, there's a little carryover for halfway in this half of yeah. the season, and that's uh, I think obviously that's done strategically. So. But football's such a powerhouse here, man. It football is. takes yeah. over everything. I'm so glad it's almost and, over. And you know what? Sadly, on Christmas Day, you know, I told you I was going to watch basketball. Yeah, I was watching football games. <laughs> I was actually switching back and forth. I actually didn't watch the Celtics game, the Celtics Lakers game. Yeah. but I was so hungover, dude, that I didn't. I had. I, <laughs> I would watch some fucking. Jerry was watching the Lakers game. Oh, go back to bed. <laughs> So I was sleeping, but I was like kind of in and out of it. And then I would flip, I would flip back and forth, right? Because it was on, it was on two different channels, right? Football was on at the same time, so I was able to watch more football at least on Dish because they didn't have ESPN, so I couldn't watch some of the basketball games. Otherwise, I would have watched the basketball because I really wanted to watch that uh, Philadelphia Miami game. That one I really did want to watch. Philly. And uh, but at the same time, they had uh, they had uh, not the Chiefs game going at that time. They had. Uh, that was that. They had, uh, <laughs> they had uh, the not the Cowboy game either. Who was the, the Ravens game? I think. Yeah, the Ravens. Yeah. I think it was the Ravens game that was on at that time. Yeah. And dude, I was not gonna miss that one. Yeah, even for Christmas, I think one of the games was on NFL Network. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, dude, what the fuck? It might have been. Well, I shit, I got to watch three of them. I mean, I got I got to watch the the Chiefs Raiders. I got to watch the Ravens, and then I got to watch another one in there. No. That was more than I watched. I just, I literally just watched the, uh, the, the, the Ravens Niners. Yeah. That one. That was kind of the only game I watched. Man. I tuned out football. I wanted to watch t- uh, Taylor Swift over at uh, Kansas City. So, <laughs> so I had to watch that. Hey, that's good. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, the, the, she ruined that. <laughs> They're having problems, huh? <laughs> She's the go. They're having all kinds of issues, man. It's mm-hmm. kind of crazy how many... How many I heard problems. that Travis Kelsey was throwing his helmet around. He time. was, yeah. He was and, and he got into an argument Shoot. with Andy Reid. Yeah, Ooh. Andy Reid like fucking started yelling at him, kind of bumped him like fucking what? Damn! Wait, wait, Andy Reid bumped him. Andy Reid bumped 
Travis Kevin Kelsey. Kelsey. Yeah, look at look that shit up. Dude, man. I bet you ten bucks. Travis Andrew was like, "Hey man, shake it off." Yeah, he was shake it, <laughs> shake it off. off. <laughs> hey, good dude, fucking go listen to your mm. girlfriend's songs, bitch. <laughs> you know, talking pussy. all kind of shit. <laughs> you know what's fucked up is you could just tell a football player to shake it off. Like, just like hey, <laughs> I just shake it off. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, you he's do, gonna take that the wrong way. We you talking talk shit about my girl, dog. <laughs> like, but now he's at that point. Maybe that's Travis Kelsey. Maybe, dude. I don't know. Something's going on over there. There's something bad boiling around in Kansas City, man. And, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, Patrick Mahomes is mad. They were all mad, dude. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Andy Reid. They were all mad. The <laughs> fucking coaches. You know what? Oh, it was the Eagles game. Yeah, that's right. It was the Eagles and Giants game. Where that they? one. The Eagles the Eagles guys, they were all fucking pissed off, too. Where were they? Because the Giants were, kept, were keeping up with them. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they, they were getting all fucking mad, too, in that game. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't as good as you think you are. First of all. <laughs> Which is, it's weird that uh, it was on a Monday, right? So yeah. it was like all Monday night football games. But I mean, it was Monday, so it just happened to be Christmas. If you learn anything from this weekend, it uh, means more Monday nights. Right? <laughs> right? At least two. At least two. <laughs> and then you see they got Monday night football on Saturday. Did you see that? Monday night football on Saturday. Monday night football on Saturday. Sounds like Saturday night football. It's Monday Night Football. Wait, on is Saturday. Monday the new year? Do they not want to come to uh, the NCAA? Yes. Is that way it is? Monday is the new year. Fam, just throw everything on Sunday. What the fuck's wrong with you, NFL? Do you need me to like, go in there? And yeah, dude, the, the, the Monday Night game is now on Saturday. Saturday night. Oh, Saturday, so Friday or some shit. No, it's, it's Monday Night Football on Saturday night. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I didn't hear that. That's stupid. It that's is. Dumb. It's fucking dumb. It's the stupidest it's fucking, fucking thing. Stupid. Got the intro? Got the intro open on the pack or what? No, I just felt like that's what somehow. Dude, um, look at this, dude. I can't look at this. <coughs> Do you want to go on one? Excuse me. Do you want to go on one of those? Also, got this cop in front of shape off. Yeah. Like Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I want to drop it. Dude, you got a few of them too. I'm curious. What I know. 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 I've got I'm a couple. Hold them, Panini. Dude, there's dirty cards. Jeez. Yeah, there's. Right. Yeah, that's why I was like, dude. Come on, check this out. Gotta have some good ones in there. Alright, let's see. This is the 2023, 2024 pack, but it doesn't want to fucking open it. You got a knife on me? No. I have some balls though. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Okay, wait. I got it. Okay. Alright. Okay, here we go. First pack of the night. And it's a 30 pack. Oh, wow. Look at it. Right off the bat. That's a good one. Seattle Zone. Seattle Zone. Paula Bancaro. That is Seattle? good. Yep. And we got your favorite, Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Please, all right. We also have another fan favorite here, Lamelo Ball. Look at that. That's a <laughs> nice one. Did you call him a fan favorite? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like this is a fan favorite pack. Oh, look at Mac McClung. Check it out. The slam dunk champion from oh. the D-League. Look at that. that, that that's going to be a gem right there. Yeah, right there. He, this is the only card he's ever going to fucking have. Here's your boy, Kai. That's at the dunking contest. Yeah. Right? That's, that's your boy, tech. Kai. That is Jalen Johnson. Okay, that's a bust. Okay, let's see. We got Luke Kennard. Oh, going to talk shit about Jalen yeah, Johnson. Well, I don't know who he is. So. <laughs> Luke Kennard, that's a good one. Oh, he's on a bust. Oh, Larry Market, and this he is a good like one, too. This is this is a nice one too, actually. Not like a fancy one, but this guy's good. Dude, there's some good there's some good guys in here, man. Wow. Kind of like the okay, guy. Bones Highland also very good. Okay. Larry. Bro, I like this. This is all the new guys. Yeah, dude. This is uh, you. Listen, you found. Eamon Thompson from the Rockets. Okay. Yeah, me. Oh, look at we got a Ricky. wow. Jalen Pickett. This is like a uh different like a different style card. Oh, that's a little different there. Like Moses a Moody. Card. There's another different. Is that a rookie card? Though, Jalen Pick. I've heard his name though. Is he yeah, good? he's a yeah, he's a new guy. Okay. Moses Moody. That's what. That's Moody, Moses Mo, Moses Moody. Moses Moody. Imante Bates. Iman Imani Imani Bates. That's a rookie. Imani Bates. That's a nice one. Dario Dari Dari Dario Whitehead. That looks like another rookie card. Yep. No okay, for now. that's gonna be all. He's gonna he's gonna band aid that in there. Well, we're uh, thank you, Anthony. El Santa Claus is here. Same El Santa Claus has got some has <laughs> got some gifts. <laughs> El Santa Claus, that's for your cough there. Okay, uh, here goes. Am I doing this right now? Yeah, we're gonna do it right now. Right. 
Max Christie from the Lakers as well. Lakers of Los Angeles. Tor Tormani Camara 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 of the Phoenix Suns. of the Phoenix Suns. Oh, look rookie. at this! We got the Diesel, big Diesel big in the diesel. house. Shaq. Ooh. Yeah. NBA K hoops. NBA. KCP KCP up in here. Champion. Champion. Oh shit! My guy. Oh. Yes. Same time, baby. All right, come on. Now. Uh, you had not to much. Much, so. okay. Oh, he's, right, he's right <laughs> in the Portland fucking uh, <laughs> yeah. thing. Okay. Cameron Johnson, that's a good one. He's good. Cameron he's good. Johnson. He's very good. I want to be like the NBA announcer. Josh Hart. I like Josh Hart. Josh Hart. Great I want to be the NBA announcer when you announce the opposing team and they just do it all calm. Look at this. Josh Hart. Josh Hart. That's Chet, baby. That's your rookie of the year right there. Chet? That's your rookie of the year. Holmgren? Chet Holmgren. Hey, this is uh, never mind. No relation to the football coach. Mm, oh, Mike Holmgren. Yeah. Mike, yeah. Nope. Cole Anthony. This is a nice one too. Magic are doing. Jalen. Magic are doing very good this year. Um, Bruce Brown. That's a good one too. Sounds like a singer. Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown. Oh, now we're getting to the goodies. Okay. Oh. oh. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Shit! Wow. <laughs> You're not the review. That is a nice one. Right. Domas. Damantis Sabonis. Oh, Sabonis? Yeah. Hey. And you like Arvita Sabonis? I liked him, no, too. Oh, wow, look at this. This is, huh. Maxwell Lewis. Huh, this is like, it has like a ticket on here. Dude, even the back looks a little different. Is it one of those where you turn it in, redeem it or something? I don't know, dude. We fucked one up earlier look this year. Look at that. With baseball. Oh, we never got that one. Yeah. It's got like a ticket. Dude, this looks fucking cool. Hold on, this looks cool. Uh, oh shit! Now. We got my boy again, two times in one pack. Woo! Day, <laughs> Look at that, and this is a this is a sky view. The last time you'll ever see him in a Blazer jersey. Right this there. is cool. That one's Damian Lillard. That's actually kind of cool, actually. That one's a yeah. cool one. And then we got Cam Reddish. Uh, I don't know too much about Cam Reddish. He's good. He's with the Lakers. He's a Blazers uh, he's, jersey with the Lakers. Yeah, he was with the this. Blazers. Now he's with the Lakers. M Sprite with the marketing. And oh, that. shit. We got my boy twice. <laughs> it's true. Oh, we're doing that now? I am all time, bro. The vibes. Uh, Over here, Chito knows my throat's been fucked up. If you guys yep. heard the last oh. couple podcasts, I've been laughing and coughing. Yep, he needs Spreading some disease stuff. around this fucking place. He needs some whiskey. So we have some. We got some medicine. Some whiskey. Where's this made from? Cinnamon. It's made from the trenches of hell. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Happy, happy New Year. Merry Christmas and happy a happy New, New Year. Year, dog. Three, three. Yes. I talk shit about this shot <clears throat> regularly. <laughs> Hey, that's a nice pack right there, man. They're actually pretty. It's a decent shot, though. Yeah. It's just gross because it's too much sugar. <laughs> Pop those back in there. All right. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Couple in there. I would I wouldn't mind sleeping. <laughs> football, Shag, football, Shag football, Diesel. football, basketball. You want to go to basketball now? You want to go to football? Um, any more football worthy notes? Uh, Seahawks. Uh, well, the Seahawks played good this last game. Yeah. Well, I'm they played good. That, they played yeah, good. They played good. And uh, we are in the wild card right now. In the hunt, in the race. No, no, no. We're in the wild card. We're in the wild card. Listen, don't tell me that. Um, I get hope. Uh, so what's funny is like uh, the Niners lost. The Niners did lose. Oh, we should have shot. That's that. good for us. That's uh, good for us. It was funny is like I remember going through my Snapchat and someone who's loosely a football fan, but a uh -huh. Niner fan, they're like, <laughs> and I quote, and I quote because I guess probably people a lot of like saying yeah. this person messages is talking shit. I'm like, hey, whatever. There's still lots of games to go. <laughs> I didn't want to reply. I was like, no, nah, nah, bitch. <laughs> there's, two, there's two more games to go, and guess what? Oh, the Niners are in. Yes, they are. But we, but this can easily be a down sh downswing of momentum because I think they're going to take the number one seed. Well, of course, that's what I'm saying. They're in. Yeah, but there's not a bunch of games. Fucking left. No, and no, you no. can you can easily get you can hit a slump. Yeah, it's very important for the fucking Niners franchise, and I I, I think they're smart enough to know to take this loss, swift it. Yep. Shake it off. Swift it. <laughs> um, and move on to the next game. So how did you feel about it? Did you watch the whole game? 
of the Niners and the Ravens? Mainly the second half. I think. I oh, you didn't know, watch the first. I half. watched the second quarter, third, and fourth. Ooh, so you didn't watch uh, Lamar tripped over the safety of the referee, got in his way, he tripped over the line. You didn't see that? No, that sounds great. Though. It was a safety. It was like the first play of the game. Ooh, that oh, dude, I would have tuned out. I'm glad I didn't see that. No, yeah, <laughs> that happened right at the beginning of the game. I would have tuned out, but like. All right, fuck this. It's not it wasn't like right at the beginning. I mean, it, it was at the beginning, but it wasn't yeah. like the first player. In the no, line whenever there. I see something like that, I just immediately think, oh, that's bad juju. No. Right. Dude, yeah, it was actually kind of crazy because uh, the referee was backpedaling and Lamar, he was pretty far ahead of, or Lamar was pretty, he was like, I don't know, the 15 yard line or yeah. so. And the ref was back like at the 10 or so, five. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he took that snap, he started going backwards yeah, and he's quick. Right, Lamar, yeah. and he's backpedaling quick. So the ref's trying to get away from him even more. Oh, no. Well, he ends up turning around because he's got these two linemen right, right, right up in his fucking face. So he's getting blitzed, and he goes, yeah, he goes into the into the end zone. Yeah, and as soon as he gets into the end zone, the ref is trying to get away, and the ref slips. Oh, he slips because he's backpedaling, fell over. Lamar fucking hit or like kind of like ran into him, went and he tried to throw the ball. It was kind of like a like a pass, so yeah, he yeah, wouldn't yeah. be because he was in the end zone. Yeah. So he didn't want to get. He didn't want to end up end up being a safety or intentional grounding. Yeah, yeah. They ended up calling it intentional grounding and getting him the safety. Because he was in the end zone. Yeah, but when he, it he never got touched. Or did he get touched? Uh, no. But I mean, it, I think it's because intentional is grounding. Was, it is intentional grounding, but you but said the ref he, was in the way too. But so it got called a safety or intentional grounding. It got called a safety. What? Did he get touched? Uh, he got taken down. Yeah. Okay. He got taken okay, down, but he tried to throw the ball out as he was getting <coughs> taken down. Yeah. And then he either, I think his knee was down at first when oh, he let okay. the ball go. So he, there was contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they he got was it. down. Yeah, they but got the it. But you're, you're, from here, tell me the ref played a part. Yes, yes. A the, pretty yeah. big role. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the ref, got in a, okay. the ref got in a fucking way. Hey, black and white, <clears throat> y'all need to relax. I know. Stick, <laughs> yeah, I did that. And stick then the old black and white, stick the old refs on the side. You keep the young ones <laughs> in the action. Dude, I wish you would have seen that entire game. Cause you should, cause Brock Purdy. From what I've seen already, like the second, I kind of. I, but you saw, all, but you seen he threw all those inter interceptions. I think it he was, threw all those interceptions. Mainly. How many did he have when you started watching? Oh, dude, I was so excited! I think he threw like three, three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Like, yeah, so yeah he got four. Yeah. He got four. So I mean, and two of them were batted, right? Yeah, two of them, like, two of them, the fucking the balls were batted and they would pop up in the air. Yeah. and somebody would grab it and fucking go. Dude, you see how relaxed some of the defenders were yeah. when they. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a basketball yeah. player catching a pass. Just yeah, and then there was that one that he threw in the end zone, and I think that was his first drive yeah, down because he got the ball, he went in, and they were running. They were going. Christian yeah. McCaffrey got a run, and I was already like, oh, fuck, this is what happened to us on, on Thanksgiving. What I enjoyed was, like, as soon as the Niners started getting momentum, those those picks just came Dude, dude, Every oh, yeah. One. But you Every should, single one was, like, But you should have seen Brock Purdy. You should have seen how bad. Like, I felt bad for the guy. Like, he looked like he was going to cry. Like he was out there, and then he and then he got hit one, and he got taken down. He ends up fucking going, oh, God, I fucking hurt my arm. And I'm like, he just don't want to play no he more. Play. He's done with his interceptions and shit. Right. And it was like low scoring. I think the entire time it was yeah. low scoring, yeah. right? Yeah. Even yeah. If, even because they didn't score all those points until like the fourth quarter. Yeah, it was until the fourth quarter where their offense woke up. So you can say the defense got a little more lazy. You can yeah, say yeah. The, the Ravens. Did you see did. that hit? Uh, Debo was, took. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, there was one hit I saw. It could have been that one. Where it just looked bad. Those Debo. Are, it yeah. could have been that one. I don't know. I'm not sure which yeah, one it was. Yeah. I saw a hit where I was just, oh, shit. It was like, uh, so it was somebody. Where he just ran. Did he Debo, just like Debo caught like, a, like a, one of them side passes, right? Okay. Where they just throw it to him. Yep. And he had and he got it and grabbed it. And he was about to run upfield. And a defender comes charging at him. Just boom. Hit and him right in the well, chest. I think I know exactly. Right in the right, fucking chest. And you just hear a clank. I just remember. And he just boom. That could have been the that could have been the one. Because I was watching the game. I think my brother was watching. But then he looked down his phone real quick. And when I saw the the contact, because it was literally like running into a wall. Yeah, it was. Like, okay, yeah, so it was dude. That one. Oh yeah. It was literally a boom. I was just like, oh yeah. Shit. Like even me, <laughs> dude. And yeah. I, like, listen, I was like, holy me shit. Me being a hawk fan, be like, oh, hit hit the fuck hit, out of those hit guys. Hit that fucker. Hit yeah. that. But when we saw that, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, so those were hit. Those were hit. hits yeah. like the Legion of Boom would would yeah. make hits like that. Oh, like Cam Chancellor guys. would fucking wipe wipe guys out. I love those. So like it was like that. That fucking dude just hit him just foot right in the chest. Bam! And I thought he was gonna go down. Yep. And he didn't. Just fucking took it going up. Yeah, he got it. Then he got it first down. I was like, holy hey, shit! Hey yo, next down, I'm out, dog. They don't call him Debo for nothing. I only got adrenaline for this next fucking thing. I'm just like, get the break. Uh, <laughs> nah, tremendous athletes. It was a good uh, game, man. That was a good game. It was. 
And but I just I just felt so bad for Brock Purdy. And then he went, like I said, he got he went hurt. He got hurt, went to the tent, yep. came back out, and he was like, all right, I'm going back in. And then Kyle's like, no, 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 you're not going back in. We mm-hmm. got Sam Darnold, so I'm si- uh, the, the coach. Honestly, the, the only thing I'm worried about, the only thing that worried me watching that game as a sports fan and uh-huh. a fan of the football and stuff like that um, is that um, I don't know the, the playbook for Baltimore. Um, I'm hoping that when they saw they had a nice cushion, they took advantage of the cushion and told everyone, hey, he's back. Oh. And the Niners, because like, the last thing I want to hear is that, no, we kept playing. And yeah. the Niners fucking just adjusted. Yeah. Enough. But I don't... I don't think. Well, Sam Darnold came in. He actually didn't do too bad. Well, no, I'm just saying. Like, I don't. I think at the end, the defending got a little, a little more lenient. Oh, and yeah. And they're like, oh, we have this, whatever. Yeah. Um, the Niners. I didn't. I think the Niners did take advantage of that. Um, the more lenient defending, and that's why they started catching up. But I, well, I they want, didn't score. No, but I. I but that's why I'm, I'm yeah. glad because yeah, I was a little yeah, afraid. I got you. That if a team can adjust quick on the fly like that. Yeah. The one team that scared me in the fourth quarter. The Niners. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. The Ravens. No, 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 no. We already, you can't tell me you already forgot about this part of history, though. <laughs> Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Fuck Tom Brady. Tom Brady and the Patriots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth quarter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. There was one, if there's one No, but they were so far. They were, they were 21 points. They were three touchdowns down. Dude, yeah. So, I mean, saying. That, that was a special team. Yeah. Well, no, no. Brady would be the guy that I would be afraid of if it was a two position oh, game okay. in the fourth quarter. I see, I see. Um, where the Niners, right, you're right, this was a three possession game, but they still showed up good, and I think that Baltimore took it easy, knowing that hey, it's three possessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's because I'm hoping, Sam Darnold, I'm that's what Sam Darnold did get a touchdown on them. Yeah, and then and the fourth, Lamar the came closing, back, yep. and then they got another one. Yep. When they were still in Christmas, they were still in presents. Yep. You see that? No, <laughs> they were fucking still in presents. That sounds fucking funny. Though. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I, I'm thinking. Uh, let's be honest. If these two teams were to meet in the Super Bowl. So that was that was number one and number one. Yep. So if they meet in the Super Bowl again, it'd be a fun Super Bowl. Um, I wouldn't sleep on the Niners. I think it would be. I think it'd be a good one. Honestly, I think it'd be good. I think it'd be a great Super Bowl, and I think it'd be closer than what we saw this weekend. I one thousand percent percent think it's closer than what we saw this weekend. I don't know, man. Uh, Brock Purdy. Hey, man. I was. I was. Honestly, this was a big game. This was a big. I was, was very, very, game. very, very impressed by the Ravens, Ravens. and their defenses. I was because oh, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Honestly, San both, Francisco's been scaring the shit. Honestly, <laughs> both defenses were very good. Yeah, absolutely. Both defenses absolutely. were very, very good. But Baltimore, the way offensively, I remember seeing a snap. My brother, uh, we were watching the game. It was towards. It was like in the third quarter, towards the end, and it yeah. was a snap. Um, and it was a little fake. It, I remember it was a snap uh-huh. because uh, they were in. It was a goal. It was like it was like first and goal, second and goal. Yeah, yeah, it was a snap, and they did a little fake pass. Yeah, what's, what's Lamar funny? faked everybody out on that one. Exactly, he I did. Sh- dude, I shit you not. Yeah, I shit you not. he did. If you were there, you oh, I seen. Me. Yeah, as I know soon it. as the snap yeah. happened, yeah. and I watched that, and I saw him do this, he went like that. As soon as he did that, wow. as soon as he did that, I was going to the bathroom. Remember, I was like, oh, they got it. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I knew, as dude, soon yeah. as he did that, he faked the entire yeah. right side of that field, and everybody went that yep. way. And there's one guy right here. It's Bam. one of those things where right at the snap. Like you kind of you, you, you well yeah well you it, think you he's got. gonna you think he's gonna keep it or he, or I mean it looked like what did it look like he was gonna pass it huh but that's how, that's how confident I was with their playbook yeah, yeah. um I'm dick riding like a motherfucker anyway so like <laughs> that's how confident when I saw him snap fake yeah, here yeah and I saw like the Niner kind of sh- the attention oh, shift yeah dude. when he got back and he's looking over this way and everyone yep. oh, and just bam and then he does over yep. here fake yep. but then looks back over. I just that immediately when I saw that, I was like, dude, yeah, that's the play. That's yep. what they wanted. They got yep. these guys looking like fucking amateurs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had the wide open fucking man. Wide in open, dude. Yeah, yeah. Zone, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was sweet. That was one of the best plays. And I think Baltimore, if their playbook has more little plays like that, when they got the momentum and uh, like uh, it's it's something magical. Um, Fuck the Ravens, fuck Niners. <laughs> we're going to <laughs> no sneak in the playoffs, and the Hawks are going to fucking take it. So who do you got? Who do you, who do you who do you got sneaking in? What do you what, how do you how do, what do you feel? There's still a lot of games left. <laughs> oh, Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Pull it pull it up. Pull it up on the big screen. I know I have this place too. Fucking stupid. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even oh, wait. oh, what happened? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We're good though. We're good though. Let me. Can you scoot the TV back a little bit or something? Well, yeah, I can. Or I can place it up here. Can you? It's still out of frame, I think. Hey, don't worry, Anthony. You can cut it up. <laughs> yeah, uh, he'll figure it out. Yeah, because I can place it like fucking punch. Bro, that guy's hot, dude. It's a heater. Like this. 
Because I'm assuming you can, it's still be out of frame. I think. Oh, okay. Oh, I for see. Us, for I us. see. I see what you're doing here. Be... I see what you're doing here. You mean, here, let me, let me see. But for our show, it's going to be out, out of frame. Right? Yep. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I can't even see it. I'm telling you, it's great. It is great. Um, we're going to NBA or NFL? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's get some. Okay. Let's get some NFL predictions. You can open up a pack. We got of what sport? 20 minutes left. Do we? Yep. No, that's because we had a restart. Um, <laughs> uh, F1. No, I'm just kidding. Not yet. No news. <laughs> no news. Yeah, it should, yeah, save all the Actually, F1. it's been a very slow F1. This is not a very exciting F1 window. Save the F1 stuff. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it hasn't been exciting. Oh, um, what the hell? These things are yeah, so, some of these are open. We've got to... Right. <laughs> excuse me. We've got to track which ones are so you did basketball. I think I don't. I, this that's what I need to do is I need to bring football ones because it's just this one. We're out of football. You soccer? Are we out of football? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. And I get some baseball ones too. Um. <sighs> we can do F one okay. while I talk about what we talk about football. Wait, you want to talk about F one? No. There's oh, okay. nothing happening in F one oh, okay. world. Well, let, well, um, let's let's season. do some let's do some football football predictions football stuff. Yeah, uh, we don't have any football cards. Uh, no, it's okay. Womp, womp. Me, me, me. The new soccer, soccer ones. <laughs> it's football, we'll just, football, it's football, we'll just, it's football, just, uh, Norte Americano. Uh, <laughs> there you go. We're going to do, we're going to do one episode in <laughs> all Spanish. Um, si, si, senor. As far as soccer Así goes, uh, Premier League's happening. Uh, fucking, I think Arsenal's on top. Dude, this is actually, if you're a fan of, uh, Premier League soccer, we will talk soccer a little bit. <laughs> Wait, are you going back to soccer? Uh, yes. I'm oh, gonna, okay. Just because I'm going to open a pack, so it's going to be okay. very, very fucking. Uh, <laughs> also, Anthony, we got to figure out a way to do it the back in the way when uh, do the back in the day where we can uh, look at um, like uh, uh, this on. Look at what? This whatever you're putting on the screen uh, on the thing. Oh yeah. We can do that now. That way we have a stupid ass desktop. Um, so uh, this was a couple games today. Like I said, Manchester you won Chelsea, but the more important thing <laughs> oh, is this. I need. Uh, the most important thing uh, is um, in the Premier League right now, uh, the hunt. Uh, everyone was afraid of Manchester United earlier this season. Now they're dropped down to fifth. Tottenham in fourth, which is interesting. Aston Villa, who played against Manchester United today, but lost 3-2, is in third place. Manchester's climbing with 31 points, meaning that they're still within the hunt of the fourth and third and can potentially get back. What in is what is that? Is that, the la- is that the, that's the last five games? Win no, lose, this, this, win or lose, right there, like on the right, like on the right hand side. Yeah, this is the result of the last five games. Oh, so if it's great, it's a draw. Uh, Liverpool's been doing great. Yeah, uh, yeah, great to draw. Uh, Arsenal's been doing right. Uh, Aston Villa's been on a good little. Damn, there. so Liverpool got no losses up there. Yeah, United's been back and forth. West Ham and all these other teams. Uh, who's this been on the little streak? Bournemouth. Oh yeah, well, wow. they beat United. Fuck them. Look at that um, shit. And the bottom three, these guys get relegated to the second division, and oh. the second division guys get bumped into the first. This oh. is what people want oh, in that's cool. uh, MLS. It's like an, it's that's dope. That's dope, happen. actually. Two different leagues? Yeah. Well, no. It's a thing. So let's it's say we're going this, this is what Rexham is all about. Yeah. Have you watched the Rexham thing with uh, Ryan Reynolds? Uh, and no. They own a team <laughs> that's like in the fourth division, and they're climbing their way up. Hypothetically, hypothetically, their team can make it into the first division and oh. play against Arsenal and Liverpool because of this, the way the ranking system works. But do you really want to play those teams if they're so much better than you are? Yes. Money. Why? Money. For money? There's, there's more money in playing. Uh, more uh, promotion, yep. more... Uh, and on top of that, yep. and on top of that, if you built a team yeah. all the way up, then you've made the right decisions on how to build a franchise. So imagine owning a little franchise. Imagine owning the Pippins. Yeah. And you've managed a team. You've got good players. you got good... And you've done such a great job that you're now playing... But damn, if you're in the fourth division and you're trying to make it up there, like, that's hard. Yeah, it's tough. It's not easy. That's hard. But that exists in European soccer, and people want it. And this in, in MLS is not going to happen. Yeah. People wanted it in Liga. Liga Mekis did it for like a couple seasons. Then yeah. they got out of it because you know why? Chivas was in the bracket to get relegated. They were so bad that they were going to get knocked down in the second division. So that's loss of money for the league. Oh, because Chivas, Chivas is, is a popular team. franchise. That's, you, that's, that's a franchise. That, you can. That's bullshit. Yeah, that, thank that's, you. That is some bullshit. Thank that, you. Yep. That's that's rigging. That's 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 yeah. uh. So what happened was that's rigging the system yeah, here, man. The so fuck? When it was, when Moving it was, the goalposts. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what happened was when when that kind of happened, they were like, "Oh shit!" And they put a password. Hey, we're gonna rethink the pointing system. So it's a, they changed the point system so fucked up 
that sh- like it was it, oh Chivas and God. America and all those guys, they would never get relegated. They changed the point system and then they stopped doing it in 2020, I think, or something like that. Like, hey, we're, we're going to rework the point system and man. We're, we're, then man, we'll, see, we'll revisit this. It's crazy how even have, in even not, in sports, there's so many politics. Yeah, here. they have not they have not fucking uh, redid it. Either. All right, rookie four. <laughs> this, what is this? Uh, Leeds, okay. Rasmus, Kristen. Uh, this is going to be a lot, a lot of players I don't know again. Uh, AC Burnmouth, the guys that are uh, beat United not too long ago. Lloyd uh, Leeds Kelly. United? Yep. Cool. Yeah, they're, they're a decent little team. Um, another uh, Pascal Gross. What's this? Hold on. Let me look at this one real quick. Brighton Hoven. That's a good oh. rookie. That's a good rookie card on there, too. Yeah, a couple of I mean, rookies. Never know. And then we have a fun little shiny heaven here upside down. Of who we were just talking about Aston Villa, Jacob Ramsey oh. of Aston Villa. Uh, I believe Jacob Ramsey is actually a decent player. I think he's actually a decent sure. player. Yep, with Aston Villa, who just lost to oh, Manchester wow. United this weekend. Uh, that is Football Mundial huh. de Europa. That's cool. That's cool. That's that. Um, these cards are expensive. They look nice, but they've been yeah. they've been a bust except for like the first time <laughs> we opened them. Yeah, that's true. Because they could be a bunch of players you've never heard of. I know. <laughs> Jacob Ramsey's decent. I think they have him as a future. Yeah, they do. He's actually, he, he, honestly, he has potential being yeah, yeah. A, a good player in the long run. Um, it says, yep, yeah, it is. I was it. actually going to stop gaming uh, to <coughs> watch Masters United, but I've been so disappointed. It's not to. I watched the Synoptis. And like, oh, Don't be doing no hacking, man. I should have because it's like it was like a three to two game high scoring game. Yeah. Don't be doing no hacking. No, man. I don't hack. Right now I'm doing story, story <laughs> based mode, story based game. But I'm might end up in jail. I'm in my siege mode, though. Um, all right. All right. So the Seahawks Bridgestone? defeated Did they? who this last week? Titans. That's right. Um, Barely. Yeah, and I didn't – like the Panthers-Packers game was close. I'm ah. surprised. Okay. So that but, happened. Jets won. Yep. Um, <laughs> I don't know. The uh, Dolphins beat the Cowboys. Um, I'm excited about Dolphins that. Dolphins did beat the Cowboys barely on a field mm-hmm. goal. Yep. I'm I'm all for that uh, myself. Uh, the the biggest upset, I, in my opinion, was that the Raiders, Raiders one, dude. Chiefs. Yeah, that Patriots one's pretty big right there too. If they beat the Broncos, because <laughs> uh, the Broncos were, were trying to were making a little run to come back. So yeah, and you know what's interesting is uh, fuck, I wish Ryan was here. Ryan jokingly said he's a Patriots fan uh-huh. that he kind of wanted the Patriots to lose because he wants to tank for yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Uh, yeah. for so, uh, Bill Belichick to get fired. <laughs> what's he gonna do when that happens? I don't think you can take for that. <laughs> um, but it was funny because uh, they won, um, uh, and the Broncos uh, lost. I, I I didn't watch that game, and I'm kind of just tuned out of both fucking franchises. I yeah, really don't yeah, too much. Uh, well, we should, well, you should bring up another tab and give me uh, NFL playoff picture. Yeah. Ooh, wild card or NFL playoff? And just NFL playoff picture. It'll tell you who's in, who's out. Look at that. It knows. It'll tell you everything. Let's hit that guy. Yeah. First one. It'll tell you everybody who's in the wild card, who's who can get the wild card, who can't, you know, who's in the hunt, who's. Mm-hmm. It'll tell, this will tell you everything about every cool. fucking team. Las Vegas. Hey, we should go. For the Super Bowl? Yeah, Las Vegas. I mean, we can't get inside the stadium, <laughs> but... Do you know there's yeah, a guy that sneaks in the Super Bowls every, like, year? Really? Yeah. I'll show How? You. I'll, I'll, I'll show you after Oh, okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> so right now, as it stands... All right, here we go. In the picture right now. Okay. It shows clinched. The clinched Ravens. a playoff spot in the AFC. Only two teams yeah. have clinched. Yeah. So okay. right now, the only two teams have clinched. Dolphins and Ravens. Ravens and Dolphins. And they Correct. play each other this next week, I believe. It's going to be a fucking great game. <laughs> uh, I'm going for the Dolphins. All right. We got Niners, Clinch, Lions, Clinch, Eagles. Clinch. Look at the NFC. is pretty much set. Available playoff spots would be the Niners number in the number one position, the Lions and the Eagles and Cowboys. Honestly, this is kind of the way. If if you would have thought at the beginning of the season. I can't believe the minus, Lions. Minus the Lions. Yeah, I can't believe the Lions, of, This was the picture. Yeah, the yeah. Lions kind of came out of nowhere this fucking Look at year. the Lions, though. Same record as all three, to- all three of the top teams, You're 11 sne- and 4. Sneaky good team. Cowboys are, what, 11 and 10 and 5. Okay, yeah. 10 and 5. That, that is nuts because... Um, the Lions, man, that's so cool. Everyone's like everyone's looking at every, everywhere else, yeah, even now. Even yeah, now, yeah, everyone's yeah. looking at everyone else, and no one's, 
It they're, was kind of they're, dark, they're sleeper, man. Dark yeah, horse. They're, they're, they're just, you know, they're, they're, they're flying under the radar, even though they were on hard knocks last year. No, and even even now, even with the 11 of 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 11 of 4, man, lie. that's awesome. I'm still going to count it out. Yeah. I think they're still. The, it's just the because horse. of Goff. I think that's what it Jared is. Jared Goff, bro. Um, now, All what right, we have now in the hunt. This, this, is, this is where it gets interesting. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. The hunt gets interesting. The right hunt. Now. So, the hunt, out of nowhere. Yep. You would think Kansas City would be, would be one. up here with the Lions and stuff. Other you side, other think, side, other side. No, other side. Oh, with you the think Dolphins. you'd be with the Dolphins? You think they're, they're AFC. All right, yeah. okay. AFC left, NFC on <laughs> the right. right. Um, I would ex- at least put them in this picture right here. Um, oh, you mean in the 11s? Yeah. Well, oh, they all have 11s. All, well, those, all the teams have 11 wins. Yeah, but I would I would put them in the uh, the picture of another 9 and 6. Oh. I, would, I would put them up here. Um, okay. So for them to be in the hunt... Yeah, yeah. Is a little, well, they're right now. Fun. They're in the hunt. Right they don't now. even have a spot yet, which is nuts. Oh, exactly. That's what I'm getting. To. <laughs> Man, that's fucking nuts. Um, so they're in the hunt, but yeah. honestly, they're gonna. I they'll make playoffs. I, I, I believe so. Look at their um, their. It's got current percentage yeah. of getting that, a. That's accurate. Playoff. Yeah, ninety six. That's they can throw all the they can throw all the little helmets around. That means they got a lot of uh, tiebreakers yeah. that they want and shit. So that's good. And then the Buccaneers are in here too for some weird reason. Uh, Eighty seven. Yep. That's uh, because the NFC South is the worst. Oh, NFC South yeah. is the shittiest division that they NFC, got. Yeah, you're right. NFC South. So as uh, long as they win the division, they get in. AFC North, rep- represented with Tony Khan and the Jaguars. <laughs> That's who Shad Khan is, his uh, dad. That owns. <laughs> yeah. uh, Tony Khan owns AEW. Uh, <laughs> uh, so then, uh, which so is it's pay-per-view. The, this, it's uh, the top New seven Year's. teams, though, that get in. The top one gets a bye. The bottom six get to go play against each other. So it goes all the way to seven. Mm-hmm. Correct? I think you're correct. So we got number four. Shat Khan and fucking Jaguar. The Buccaneers. Look at the Rams, That's man. The Rams, oh, are, right, right. the Rams are a little scary there. Rams are scary in the eight and seven, but they're uh they're like a newborn Ram. Yeah, you know what? And they've been they've been playing really good lately. And look at their what's their probability? They have been. What's his boy what's his face stop gelling his hair so much? Matt Stafford? No, the coach. Or Cooper Cup. Oh, the coach. Oh, Sean McVay. Uh, McVay hasn't been putting <laughs> as much gel in his hair, so he's a little stressed out. So, I believe that you know he's taking his shit serious now. He's gonna he's reconsidering. He's like, dude, I should take that broadcast job. Look at and that. He's gonna take the broadcast. Three job teams by in the now. NFC West getting trying to get a spot in the in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, NFC. NFC. What? Yeah, us. One, yeah, two. us. Rams and Niners. Three out of four. Three well, out of four Rams. teams. Uh, three out of the four don't teams. Worry Arizona's at the fuck out of there. Dude, what if they lose two more? Wait a minute. Shoot. 106. That's still a fucking great record. Um, yeah. So we're looking at playing the number two. So look at who's number two. The Eagles? Bro, we got their number. No, the Lions. Ooh. Uh, we beat them once already. Yeah, that's true. That's Fucking facts. beat them that's again. Facts. It's true. The one team I don't want to play. Uh... Eagles. <laughs> Niners. This would be a tough one. I As much as I hate to admit it. The Cowboys? In recent history, the Cowboys yeah. against Seattle has not been favorable. Uh, that's in very Seattle. true. Especially in, in Dallas. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. Fuck you, Jerry Jones. All right, so we got um, the Bills still in there, too. The mob and the is Colts. still in there, and the Colts. Look at the Bills, man. Number six, huh? On the bubble. <laughs> on the bubble means you're. you're, you're <laughs> those are on, in the hunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are they saying. What, are they in the hunt? These guys right no, here? No, these are in the hunt. So oh, these guys in are, the hunt. Yeah, these guys are in the thick of it. And the bubble is you're outside the looking bu- in. Yeah, you're outside wow. looking in. These, these you're relying on. Outside, you're there. you need a lot of the help. Texans, Vikings, Steelers, everybody else. Falcons, <laughs> Green Bay too. Green uh, Bay, Bengals, Raiders, Saints. Let's okay. We all saw that. Realistic, realistic, realistic. They get the Broncos nine oh, percent, and these are the eliminated teams. <laughs> so they got to play spoilers. Okay, let, let, I'm gonna. I have a question for you. Okay, the bubble's fun. <laughs> I want you on the bubble. Are you willing to pick? Do you feel comfortable picking any team in the bubble? No. Okay. Not no. Raiders, maybe. Look at the Raiders, number eleven. What's their Raiders possibly? At, at that percentage? Yeah, Raiders possibly. Let me see who else you got. Broncos. Broncos are still in it. They're not eliminated. So yeah, in the bubble. <laughs> they. Just, <laughs> not the Bears, <laughs> not the <laughs> Saints. You know they paid them like a couple hundred bucks. Hey, just, just keep us in the bubble on the website. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> a little bit more than one percent is the Bears. Damn. Um, in the bubble, Texans. I was, you know, I was actually hopeful for the Texans. I'm not gonna lie. 
Because CJ Stroud and them guys, they were doing pretty good. This is tough. Yeah, I can't do a bubble. <laughs> so one. I would say my hopeful is I'm gonna say Pretty I am. I'm gonna say the Raiders and the AFC for the bubble. And then on the other okay. side, I'm gonna say the Saints. Twelve. Uh, Twelve. Shoot. I'll say Green Bay for the bubble. Green Bay uh, and the Bengals. Green. And, uh, oh yeah, the Bengals. Well, why the Bengals? Fucking Joe. Maybe. Joey's not playing. Who gives a fuck about the Bengals? I, it might depend on their division and stuff too. I haven't, we have. That's why I wouldn't even want them to go. Joe Burrow's not playing. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> you don't want to, okay. I'm a Joe <laughs> Burrow guy. You don't want to play postseason bagels? Uh, it's, it's, it's getting fun. This is where football gets fun. So that's crazy. Yeah. All five. There's five spots in the in the NFC that are already taken. Yeah. So there's only two spots left. Mm-hmm. And there's how many teams uh, trying to get? One, two, three. Three. Ooh, and we're on the bottom. Yeah, we're in the bottom aye, at sixty nine percent. So there's only two spots left, dude. Shit, we need to we need to get up there again over the. But Rams. I mean, uh, yeah, it's all about just the winning the next couple games. Uh, well, the Rams got tiebreakers over us, that's why. Mm-hmm. But we play them one more time, don't we? Um, all right, we already played them twice. To be honest, I don't. I think we played them twice already. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I think. Um, Dang, this is the worst. Got NFC West. Game. NFC West. NFC West. There it is. Down, um, down, 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 down. Right, right there. Schedule? Schedule, yes. We might have played them twice. Maybe. Shit. I know they beat us one time for sure. I know that. Oh, this is the whole but season. But that's preseason. Ooh, went too far. Oh, see, we got Cowboy. No. Oh, this is week three. No, I think uh, we were. Oh, that's one. Pre- oh, it's going backwards. Yeah, yeah. Week 17. Wait, wait. Go down. Week 17. Okay, we got... That's right now. Steelers. Steelers and Arizona. And Cardinals. So we have played them twice. Yeah. And I'm going to say they beat us twice. I can't remember if we beat them. It's Honestly, I, I feel pretty safe saying... Um, yeah, I don't um, remember beating the Rams. But there's that one. Loss. loss. 16-17. And I think a beginning of the season, uh, also a loss. Yep. yep. Son of a bitch. Dang. Chingao. Chingao la madre. Okay, we got five minutes left. All right, that's the football predictions. I think. All so. right, so did we did we do uh, the upcoming games for this? Who's week? gonna win the week? Yeah, let's, let's go back. Yeah, go back there. Right. Yeah. Let's see big games and who's gonna win. Week seventeen of eighteen for football. All right, um, big game. What's the biggest game? Week of this shit. What's uh, the biggest game? Let's let's skim it over. Let me. Lions Cowboys. That's a that's a that's, that's a decent game. That's, that's an important game right there. That's important. That's that one. That but look at Lions game. at the Cowboys. That's tough. Let's go Lions. Cowboys haven't lost a Fuck game that. at go, home no, in 18 let's go Lions. games. Let's go Lions. Let's go Lions. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see what else. That Dolphins Ravens one. That's a Oof. big one. Jesus, I'm gonna have to watch football this weekend. That's oh, a big dude. one. Um, I want to go for Dolphins. But... Saints Bucks is ta- is technically a big one too because the Bucks are trying to get in. So are the Saints, and so are we, and they're above us. Bills Patriots, he's gone. Two birds taking on each other right there. Cardinals uh, Eagles, two cats taking on each Jags. other. Raiders Colts. Ooh, that's a good AFC one right there. Rams Giants. We need the Giants to win. Hey, Niners Commanders might be all right. Oof, nah. Maybe. Maybe. Niners traveling if they Ooh. lose. Yeah. If Hawks lose, Steelers. That's yeah. a, that's important. That's a Super Bowl rematch of when they uh, fucking robbed us. <laughs> it's always a it's always a match. Fuck you, black and white. Fuck it, Steelers. Uh, piece of shit. Bengals Chiefs. Let's go Bengals. Uh, I feel like the Steelers always beat us. Chargers Broncos. Packers Vikings divisional game. Uh, Chargers Broncos. These are all divisional games, yeah, all of them. No, except for that one. But I mean, all the other ones. Damn, yeah, there a lot of them are divisional games. All right, we're not going to the week after that. But okay, so there all are right. some interesting games Biggest. this weekend. All right, uh, I think the big ones are going to be the Dolphins uh, versus Ravens. I think that's a big one. Um, my money, I want to go for Tua, but honestly, the way the Ravens the Ravens play this weekend, yeah, I think the Ravens might have. The I, think so. I, I think so. I think as long as they pay attention to the playbook, and they're, they're in the Baltimore, and, they're not in Miami. Um, they're playing pretty tough. Uh, Lions Cowboys, I think, is tough. Uh, you're right, Cowboys in Cowboys Dallas at home and is, they haven't lost. Uh, yep, I'm gonna go That's with Detroit tough. though. My, yeah, uh, only because I'm I, I'm going my, with my heart, not my head. My my cowboy hate <laughs> is so strong. Yeah, my heart <laughs> yep. That's, um, right. That's where I'm at. So, and I thought there was one more. I vaguely want to say this one, but it's not really uh, uh, too hard. Uh, that Bengals Chiefs game that could be one, you know. That could Chiefs, be that Chiefs could be it because one. the Chiefs are a little bit shambled right now, and I think the Bengals are one of those teams that right off momentum. And if the Bengals wear white, 
Bengals all the fuck. That, pa- that Packers Vikings game is that divisional. They're both trying to get in. That's gonna be a good one. Uh, Packers Vikings are always pretty good. Always, yeah, usually, usually pretty decent uh, game. I think previous years. Aaron Rodgers owns them though. So, ooh, sign Aaron Rodgers for a day. <laughs> um, and uh, run on that city. Um, actually, yeah, pretty. Well, yep. pretty much. Anybody trying to fight to get in? Uh, Broncos Chargers. That's interesting. Just because both, both. Who's gonna tank? I know. And the Broncos are the point. Hey, I heard Russell Wilson might take a pay cut. Uh, huh? <laughs> strong rumor. Russell oh. Wilson saying he want to take a pay cut. Yeah, well, if he, if, I mean, he was playing like he's playing like shit. So honestly, he asked for too much. Look for that. Uh, J, look for that. Travis Kelsey and uh, Andy Reid. Put Travis, oh, Travis Swift, and Andy Reid. <laughs> It's not Taylor Kelsey. It's Travis Swift. Travis Swift. <laughs> you don't think he's going to take uh, her name? <laughs> Travis Kelsey, Andy Reid. Yeah, get that video. Yeah, video. Yeah. Oh, right here. This is the, this this is right the squabble. Here. The, squabble. the Kansas City Chiefs were in another oh, major oh, letdown oh, spot today on Christmas oh, afternoon oh, as it's... No, the audio doesn't work on here for some reason. Yeah, because it's not connected to the what we're using to record the, uh, the shit. No, we don't have speakers, but it's also not connected to the... Uh, or using to actually capture the stuff, so that's why I said we <coughs> yeah, I gotta train that way. Why is he mad? Dude? He's doing great. Oh, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. They're just doing the highlights. He was getting mad at the end of the game, not the beginning. So here it comes. Oh, here we go. Uh, as soon as I saw the slow motion of the bench. Here's, okay, that's. All right, here we go. Here is we go. that okay. Kelsey? He missed. He dropped the ball. Is what happened. Ooh. Oh, damn! Oh, we got bounce. Up. Oh damn. shit! Damn! No one was scared though. No one. Damn! Was a pussy. You, you think he got mad about that? Hey. Well, no, do no one, Watch. no, no one was it. shook. Watch him. Are they going to circle it? him? Where's that big fat guy in the red coat? Oh, there he there is. is. Big fat fuck. Hey, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, see, wait. Hey, bitch, don't throw your helmet around. Look at oh, oh, oh wait, look at fucking Reed throwing his shoulder. <laughs> dude, look at Reed. Look at Reed controlling his fucking. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Fuck that, dude. I'm buying his insurance. What do they have? Bitch, you better, I'm buying. You better stop look at Reed. Around, bitch. Dude, Reed is... Look at, look at him. And then look He's at, not and letting... Then. Dude. Andy <laughs> Reed. Certified fucking gangster. Dude. Did you see that? He did not let that... Dude, homeboy... Regular homeboy just wearing a red <laughs> yeah, sweater. Yeah, no. He's gonna throw... Oh, hey, bitch. don't put that shit... Don't, you're not a fucking player. <laughs> like, dude. And he fucking shoulder checks fucking Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Travis Swift. Yo, Andy Reed... G? Certified fucking G. G. Certified fucking G. G, baby. I can't talk more shit about that. <laughs> Dude, that was gangster shit. You know what? And Andy I actually like Reed. him in commercials, man. He's pretty good in commercials. Oh, apparently, yeah, he's kind of funny. Yeah, he actually like oh, him in commercials. Dude, look at him. Yeah, just, yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shoulder. He just fucking, hey, I need to get your ass yeah. checked, bitch. You want to fuck with me? Bam. Don't fuck, because you know Kelsey's not gonna hit Reed. <laughs> no, he no knows, way, dude. No Andy Reed knows <laughs> he's not gonna get a fucking hit, dude. I love, all right, I'm in. I'm on the fucking Andy Reed. Fucking Let's go, train. Chiefs. I'm on the Andy, no, Andy Reed. <laughs> That's good. Oh uh, shit. That's funny. Well, we got a chance, bud. We got a chance. No chance. That's we got to beat the Steelers, <laughs> which I think we can do because the Steelers right now they're a pile of dog shit. Always have been. Yeah, they stole fucking a ring from us. Bitches. I'm just the Patriots, dude. The Patriots and shit. That was a bad play call. Yep. I don't want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> oh, there it is. 8.30. 8.30. We're done recording for now. Back we'll next week. Happy you. New Year's. Be safe. We'll see you next week. Oh, yeah. Right after New Year. So yeah, it'll be the be New safe. Year. Yeah. We'll be, by the time you watch this, it won't be the New Year. But yep. the New Year's coming up. So whatever you can New decide to do, be safe. When the clock hits midnight, kiss whatever bitch you want to. Yeah. Uh, take an Uber. Uh, take an Uber. Around. And if you don't got nobody, just get drunk at home. Mm-hmm. Don't go out. Oh, well, that's what's wrong with that. You wake up the next day, feel great. Yeah, right. yeah. At least you know you're not in jail. Are we doing anything for New Year's? I don't know. A couple of bars are doing some stuff. Oh, are they? Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll figure something out. Hey. Hey, man, we love you guys. See you guys.